And here we've got Sergeant Delroy Parks of the RAF. He was a finalist here in 1978. But uh, young Mark Kalor is one of London's brightest prospects. And uh, tonight he makes his first Wembley appearance. Ladies and gentlemen, bout number nine, the final of the middleweight championship. Between the infinite corner, number 17 on your program, from West Ham Amateur Boxing Club London, Mark Taylor. And in the blue corner, number 18 on your program, from the Royal Air Force Combined Services, Senior Aircraftman Delroy Parks. Well, I seem to have promoted Delroy Parks. I thought he'd been up to sergeant, but he's still senior aircraftman. Oh, well. Parks, the Jamaican-born champion of the RAF, tried to win an ABA title here two years ago, but he lost uh, on points then. Now he's got another chance. And this boy, Mark Taylor, who's uh, not quite 19, is a real discovery. And he's the captain of the Young England squad. 11 stone 11 championship, this the middleweights. Very much youth against experience, because uh, Taylor, 18, is nine years younger than the 27-year-old Parks. Parks, by the way, stationed in Germany and comes from Bradford. swinging wildly and Kalor put in a short jolting left hand classic little bunch the man was wide open to it he was throwing punches so wide that uh, Sparks he was absolutely exposed to that left hand support here for him tonight. As indeed there will be at the cup final very shortly. because he was in all sorts of trouble early on in that uh, opening round. Dora, Dora Parks of the RAF got an astonishing record. He was a silver medalist in the Commonwealth Games in Edmonton two years ago. And he's won this uh, RAF middleweight title for seven consecutive years. And he's won the Combined Services Championship five times. Let's have a look at that Kalor left that uh, he put in. It was such a beautiful punch. Just watch how wide open Parks is as he comes in. See that? threw the punches wide and then got clipped beautifully by that short left. Finger wagging, don't do that again, I thought they saying. So out they 
come for the second round. This young West Ham prospect works as a meat porter in Smith Mills Market. Parks has been in the RF now for nine years. In fact, he learned his boxing in the RAF. left-handed Kalos is doing a bit of damage on Park's face because his nose now is starting to bleed. Kalos getting just a touch flashy. Interesting contrast of styles, isn't it? With the wide swinging, hooking parts from the RF and this cool young prospect from West Ham, Kaylor, with his neat counter punching, straight left, smart footwork. And clearly been told in the second round not to get too close. Taylor last year, last season, win a National Association of Boys Club title, and I was impressed with him then. And uh, here he is, only a year or so later, in the ABA finals. Two portions now for the head, for Parks, if he does it again, he'll get a public warning, and he could lose marks. Parks now is bleeding quite heavily. doing far more work than Kalo, but not getting very far with it. And a couple of good punches to end that uh, second round with for Kalo. He caught him that nice left again and then a right uppercut just on the bell. So here's a very interesting prospect. The meat porter from Smithfield, Mark Kalo, single man, lives at Canning Town. Had a hand injury earlier in these championships, but it uh, seems to have healed satisfactorily, and I don't think he's having any trouble with it tonight. Last year, he was uh, one weight down from this light middleweight. He won the London title, um, but uh, he didn't get through the ABA semi-finals. Doro Parks, born in Jamaica, now lives in Bradford, but stationed at the moment in Germany, married to a German girl, and they got a son of three months. The old West Ham football uh, signature tune. I'm forever blowing bubbles, welling up as they come out for the final three minutes. Mark Kalor of West Ham, Doro Parks, the senior aircraftman from the area. win this on his left hand alone if he kept it going.
may be facing the fact now that he's going to leave this Wembley ring for the second time in three years as the runner-up unless he produces something very spectacular against him because he can lose a mark for that public warning for holding to Taylor you can see that gum shoot on the left now well, that evens it up because now Joy Roy, Joy Roy Parks has got a public warning for his head so one apiece that cancels out seconds left of this final round. What drama that is. There's the bell. Tremendous success for Taylor. Kicks the corner post in triumph as he comes back. And that knockdown happened in the last 15 seconds of that contest. What a night for Taylor and Parks coming over, looking a little forlorn. Here we are. Let's have another look at that. That's well worth looking at. Seconds were ticking out. And in came a beautiful short right hand. Look at that. Chopped him down like a tree. Beautiful. Took a count of eight, came up, but that put the seal on it. So, two years ago, Parks was beaten here by Harold Graham from Radford Boys Club. And now it looks as though West Ham of Triumph. Maybe that's uh, an omen for West Ham for the cup final on Saturday week when they meet Arsenal just across the road. The old bubbles tune welling up again for Kaylor as the judges' slips are being looked at. Another result we haven't given you so far at Light Welter. Terry, uh, Tony Willis from the Rotunda Club Liverpool had a unanimous points win over John McAllister the Scottish champion. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a unanimous decision. The winner and ABA centenary middleweight champion, Taylor in the best. So Mark Taylor, just 10 days before his 19th birthday, overwhelmed with joy at being the 1980 ABA middleweight champion marvelous achievement for that youngster against the old hand Delroy Parks who's so often been runner-up runner-up twice in the ABAs and runner-up of course in the Commonwealth Games at Edmonton in Canada two years ago so a nice win for West Ham and Kaylor second London win tonight Terry Barker of Repton also won. We saw that earlier. We've had six winners from the north of England, two from London, and one from the services. 